pile. Got ourselves a TVT this time. So I'm going to show you my preferred TVT build. Uh, especially, I actually often play one action span now if there's a ramp into the natural. You can often get away with it. Uh, but without a ramp into the natural, I, I think you should. Th this is definitely the best build, I think. And I stole it from Hero Marine. So we're going to go three, three Reaper, two Hellions before building the add ons. The, the reason the ramp makes such a difference is that, um, you know, like if your opponent doesn't have vision, when they come up the ramp, you can get a few free hits off. So it just makes it so much easier to defend when you have less units. Especially if there's a double cliff, like if there's a double jump, you know, you can just put some marines here, or you can just put a bunker with one marine and put a up there, and you can often get away with it. So I, I, I don't scout with this. Uh, SCV scout with this build, which is can be a little bit risky uh, if he goes for like a you know four racks marine marine rush, then you can be in a bit of trouble. But um, what's going on? But you know you can't be safe against everything in this game. SCV ready. There's there's always a trade off. Okay, it's pretty safe to build your production here. You, you generally want to have it out of range of um. Any low ground tank shelling, especially your your factory starport. So, you know, if he hits the um, you want to pull three out of gas after you build the factory. Command center upgrade complete. And I'm, I'm going to send the Reaper across to scout. You can also scout for proxies, but with it, but um. Yeah, like I say, if he run, runs in with like 10 marines now, I'm, I'm dead, or I should also check over there to see if there's a, um, sometimes they can float into your mains. Okay, so this is a sign that he, um, is, is not building, this is one racks expand. So what we can do is we can actually send everything across the map. The Grim Reaper has arrived. What? You want something? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, can we save it? We can. Nice. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I lost one, damn it. That was really bad, actually. Now he does have a bunker here. Can we run past it? We probably can. Or we could try to jump in. What what we could do is I'll go into the main with the Hellions, uh, with the Reapers. Add on complete. Okay, you always put a cyclone first. Okay. Okay, we might not get a whole lot more done from here. I'm just going to go 3cc. But this is why this, this build is good. Actually, I'm just going to YOLO in. See, this is why one Rex expand isn't good, right? You, just, you can just deny a whole lot of economy. Has he walled off? No, he hasn't. So we get a good scout of what he's doing. There's still no tech lab. Oh, he's going mad. Okay. Okay, so you can see why, um, okay, after this, why this is good, right? You know, gritty play trying to skip, skip through. You know, I can even go for a push here. 
because he's not going to have very much yet. That's fine. He have, he, oh, he'd only just started building his add-on. So, he's not going to have any tanks. So we can just rally. He doesn't have a starport either. So, what that means is I don't have to worry about counterattacks just yet. Not enough not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Vesting advisor required. Okay, so we get rid of the bunker first. Ready to roll out. Not enough minerals. He might have to give up this. Yeah, he's gonna have to give up. He's, okay, he's got a tank there. Can I actually get rid of the tank? No. You know, I might be able to... Let's try and distract with the Marine. Get the shot off. And then... Oh, I lost the lock on somehow. Okay, he's gonna live right out now. So we're just doing an incredible amount of damage, as you can see. My macro behind it, unfortunately, not so good. What's going on? Yes, go ahead. Now we actually have two ravens now. Is he mining from the back? Okay. Alright, I might have to just retreat here. We did quite a lot. Okay, we'll get some repair off. Oops, no, I actually want to take lab on that. What's going on? Stun, which is late. Go ahead. I'll get a I'll get a second factory. Complete. And let's build it on uh, another base Additional on location. Yeah, so my macro and micro. Now we do have to be a bit wary of counter attack. I mean, I don't think he's got enough to counter attack, but he might he might feel like he has to do damage. Combat shield started. Might go for a drop or something. I can't build here. What you can also do is go scout for hidden bases. This is something you should always do. So just send send an individual marine around like this. Okay. We got four to second armory, and let's have a look at what his production is. Ready for dust Okay, so. He doesn't have very much production, so yeah, we did we did so much damage. We're just we're just way way ahead. 
Not enough minerals. Uh, actually, I'll just I'll just take this base. Why not? Research complete. Not enough. We'll probably need it soon. Not enough minerals. Upgrade complete. I've got to get better at rallying. Um, at rallying um, SCVs that all my turrets back to my production. When you have map control like this as well, it looks like he's just he's just camping. Just just build a lot of bases, okay? And we can get a fusion core as well. Okay, so it looks like he only has. So he's got tanks. Has he got this base? Yeah. So what? Tanks and Hellbats and Vikings. You know, I wonder if we can do a sleepy drop down the back. We're almost maxed. So I like to rally my Vikings and, and um, SCB ready. Command center upgrade complete. And Ravens all in one hot group, uh, hot key group. Okay, let's see if we can get something done here. Upgrade complete. Five, five by five. SCB four is here. Ready for dust off. Get a tank. We're not going to get much else done. Overall, a successful drop though. We took a lot of SCVs. Again, there's there's no harm in just expanding like crazy. There really isn't. When you're maxed. Ready to blunder. But I'm kind of tempted to just go for a push here. Complete. Not enough minerals. I should have got the mid of that speed upgrade. What's going on? Go ahead. Ready for dust. Just preemptively rally. Okay, so some of these are gonna start mining out soon. So we should move these over. SCV ready. Vestine Geyser required. Command center upgrade. Now I don't have any liberators, so I can't really push that. Hmm. I also didn't bring most of my tanks. Wait, come back. Okay, mass. An easy way to finish the game if you're way ahead is just to get mass PC. In the rear with the gear. And make sure you get mass upgrades as well. Upgrade complete. So, trying to leave too many tanks at home. Get lots of orbitals. Look, we're spending our money really well, huh? So he's only got one siege tank that siege there. So what we can actually do here is like we can disable. Oh, I didn't disable. Oh my god. Okay. Command center upgrade complete. Okay, we just got enough here. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm just gonna remax on battle cruisers, I think. That was that was there was a lot of mess micro there yeah, and it was very, very expensive. What about a full drop on this tanks? Complete. Understood. Drop. Add on. Vespine Geyser exhausted. Here's your stop. Made for battle. It's kind of fun. Base is under attack. Add on. Ready to pick up? Mineral field depleted. Let's get into the fight. Ha! Oh, I see you going for a counter push. Okay, well then this is easy to deal with, isn't it? Made for battle. Ready for pickup? Nice. So yeah, that was that was pretty clean. So I didn't, we didn't get to see it, but um, I, I should have lifted them a lot earlier, of course. But, but yeah, did we get them all? We did. HGG, he's a nice player. But yeah, this this drop. Did I actually get them dropped, or did it was I too busy? Um, It's actually quite it's actually quite a cool idea. And yeah, landing the Vikings here. Did I get the drop off? I didn't I oh, HEG too early. But yeah. So um this game though was like one in the early game. You know, we just got so far ahead. So this is the issue with one Rex expand into early marine production. Yeah, it's it's a very risky build. Um, I don't even think he is. So he he didn't wall off and he didn't SCV scout. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to juke me into thinking it's like a, a proxy or something. But but this is actually very this is actually very risky because I can actually run my Hellions into the main. And the reason why you build Reaper Hellet is that they're good to attack and they're good to defend in the early game. Hellions are very good against Reapers. They're very good against Marines, especially clumps of Marines. And, um, okay, he went double guess. But yeah, this build just... Sorry, did he go... Did he go double guess? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. No, no, he, he didn't. He, he... Sorry, he... Yeah, so he expanded. One Rax expand. Um, and he's gonna try to defend it with a bunker. And single... Single marine production. Right, and... The thing is... You know, even though... You know, I've only just started my expansion, and he's already finished it. It's very easy for me to equalize. Um, so I think this, these kind of gritty builds, just, they, they okay. just, they don't, uh, they're not worth it. I lost a Reaper there, and I should have. But, you, you know, like, he's already lost three workers. And it's delayed his factory. So I got another one. It's four. I, I should have put some damage out on those marines as well. Our SCVs yeah. are under attack. Base is under attack. Delayed mining time. So I mean, units lost is probably yeah is is even, but seven workers killed, right? And his tech is late, and I get a full scout of what he's doing, and now it's like thirty-one workers to twenty-four, and. I'm halfway through building my third base. I've already got, you know, a cyclone, first tank about to pop, first raven on the way. You know what I mean? It's, and so it's just... And then, because I've scouted what he's doing, he's only just... Oh, he's building a reactor. I thought it was a tech lab. But I know that he's not going to have... His tank count is going to be low, and I also know that uh, he's not going to have any starport units. So if I, if I control the front here, I can bring every single unit across the map. Because there's no way that he can do anything. He didn't. He didn't build reapers. You know, there's there's nothing that he can actually do to to counterattack. Okay. So a bunker at this stage, you might as well salvage the bunker. You know, because it's only 
Okay. It's only useful Complete. in de defending against uh, Reaper Helen. This better be good. Right for this reason. He d I think he got the salvage off though. Additional support. And then yeah, this is just really, really bad. Add on. Complete. It's unfortunate if I'd macroed better behind it, I would have had earlier Vikings, maybe a Liberator. Mineral field. I didn't quite get it. I should have got it with the cyclone. I don't know why the lock on broke. But yeah, if you don't have air control, then, uh, yeah, but look, look at the amount of damage, right? So there's now 16 workers killed, and he's not mining off his natural. So I got double the work. My army supply, because I'm not macroing very well, is actually even. I've also forced him into producing a lot of units, but yeah, the. The work account. So I backed off. You, you want to be careful not to overextend, or you will end up losing everything. So at this stage, the game's sort of over. Now, what he can do, he's going to do one of two things from this point. He's either going to try to do counterattack damage, or he's going to turtle up and try to catch up. And he he turtled up to try to catch up. Right. So then the right thing to do, I mean. It's always risky attacking into a turtle up player because um, you know it's just it's risky, right? Attacking the siege tanks and stuff like that. But I actually have I have three ravens, so I could have just probably just attacked into this. And, into, but but the other option is just you, if you have full map control like I had, just expand like crazy and just get all the upgrades, you know. And you can you always have the option of just going if you're far enough ahead mechanically, you always have the option of just going uh, mass BC to finish the game, especially with this. Like, you know, I could have actually transitioned to BCs earlier because although he is producing Vikings, a lot of tanks, a lot of Hellbats, right? None of which shoot up. So um, you know, you get your Mato starport upgrades. You know, you're flying with three battle cruisers or something. You Mato all the all the um, Vikings, if you don't have, if he's got too many Vikings, you jump out. If he doesn't, then you just kill all his tanks. And then after you kill his tanks, you make him push in. So, this drop, you know, it's kind of like, not necessarily the best trade. We did get a tank, but it's just more SCP kills. What I could have done is actually, I used my boost on the way in and he had plenty of Vikings. But if I hadn't have, I could have picked up and boosted in here faster than the Vikings could have killed, probably killed the medevacs, or at least both of them. And then he's got to walk his army all the way around here, and I could have actually got more kills. But that's fine. But the supply, the gap is, to my opponent's credit, I mean, look at the supply. He's macroed very well. It's 80 to 60 workers. He's got equal army supply. Upgrade um, complete. I guess what he's lacking in those upgrades, like he doesn't even have engineering base. He does have an armory, one armory. So yeah, so yeah. I mean, he did um, keep up in terms of supply, but he got very far behind. In terms of, which is probably the right thing to do. You need units as a priority. Mineral field depleted. So yeah, he, the turtle, but turtle yourself back into the game is, is a good strategy. But look, look at the map control I have. Right, I'm, I'm taking bases everywhere, and I've got trip. I think I've got triple armory. Have I got triple armory? No, just double armory still. Um, but I actually map I micro really badly here. The interferences were a bit slow. But, um, actually it wasn't that bad, if you look at the units lost, it wasn't that bad. But now that his Vikings are dead, and I've still got my backs, I can just jump around like this. Yeah. Oh, that was, uh, <laughs> that was painful. Alright, so yeah, don't leave your tanks unattended. Generally speaking, tanks just by themselves are not that good because they, this sort of thing can happen. Or you can also just drop bio on top of them, and then the tanks, you know, shoot each other and, and destroy each other with a splash. So, yeah, fun one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.